So the next problem, I have x equals cosine of theta, y equals sine of theta. Now, some of you might say, well, well I can just, oh, sorry, these should be t's. Well, I guess we could use the parameter of t, but, or we could use theta still. Theta would be your parameter, which is fine, but just to be consistent, we're having t be our parameter. If we wanted to isolate this to solve for it, though, I kind of got a little issue, right? Because to solve for t, I got to use cosine inverse, correct? Like, if I wanted to solve for t, t is equal to cosine inverse of x, right? And then if you plug that into sine, you get y equals the sine of cosine inverse of x. And you might look at that and you say, eh, that kind of looks kind of weird. Like, I'm not sure what the heck that would be, right? So that's probably not going to be the best method for us to look at this. So you say, well, if we can't do what we did for the other ones, then what should we do here? Well, there is one thing that we do know. How is cosine and sine related to each other? Well, one thing we could look at is the, um, one thing is the Pythagorean identity. Sine of t, or let's say sine of uh, sine, sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. Yes? So now obviously we're using t as our parameter instead of theta. But again, guys, remember, this is sine of theta. Remember, this is written like this. Right? Could we, again, are, are t and theta interchangeable? They're just variables, right? So it doesn't really matter. So could we replace cosine of t with x or cosine of theta with that? Like, we could just change these to t's. And then we could say, well, then that is basically x, right? Again, I could just rewrite this. It doesn't matter what the variables are. Don't you forget about theta. It could be beta. It could be alpha. It doesn't matter. But you guys agree that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Well, now I can just replace this with y squared plus x squared equals 1. Typically, we looked at it like this. Does anybody know what that equation produces? It's from your geometry class. Yeah, it's a circle. Do you know, remember what the radius is? Do you remember what the center is? Uh, the origin. The origin. Right? That is the equation of a circle. Right? So again, this is a circle with a radius of 1 at the origin. Now again, if you wanted to plug that into your calculator, go ahead and plug in your calculator. See if you get a circle at the origin.